assalamu alaikum friends uh, my name is mohammed yunus and i am audio technical developer so if you haven't subscribed to our channel please click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos so as you guys know we are working on audio 16 technical course so in the previous video we have discussed about the model inheritance and in this video we are going to talk about the view inheritance so view inheritance is uh, really important to uh, do Udo customization so in case of Udo customization if you want to make any changes inside the Udo views like the tree view list view or kanban view uh, and other views so you need to use the view inheritance mechanism so in case of view inheritance mechanism what you need to do is uh, to inherit the original view like the Udo uh, default view and uh, in your custom module and then you you will have to make the changes inside the custom module inherited view and it will take uh, and those changes will be added to the uh, original view uh, by updating the module so for this purpose you need to add uh, this uh, simple code uh, to inherit a view so uh, the only difference in uh, this view or the normal view is a uh, inherit id so in the inherit id you need to pass the view the view id of the uh, like the Udo default uh, view and uh, then inside the arc you need to add the X path uh, where you can add um, fields or you can make changes or you can uh, modify the field attributes so uh, for this purpose there are some uh, terms that are used in this uh, view inheritance first one is EXPR which is used inside the X path so EXPR is basically the uh, the X like the path to the fields like to the position of the field like where you want to add the field you need to specify the position inside the EXPR uh, that I want to add the field uh, just after this uh, field okay and position is like where you want to add uh, this field so inside the position you need to specify the place of the uh, field like you have couple of attributes inside replace the name suggest what does it mean so ins inside means like you want to add the field adjust uh, at the end of the x path block so in case of replace you want to replace the code you in case of before uh, after and attributes means uh, you want to make any some changes inside the attribute of the field so like for example attribute means the name of the field the domain of the field name is the uh, label of the field so uh, here's the tip like um, if if uh, the field is used only once you can add the attribute position attribute directly or the field uh, to specify the field position but if the field is used a couple of times then you will have to use the X path exactly to uh, specify the position of the field here is the exercise uh, for today's task where uh, we need to use uh, the view inheritance to display the fields in the partner view uh, in the partner form view which we have already added in the model so let me just go to the PY charm and here let me remind you that we have added these two fields uh, in the model by using the model inheritance uh, and now we are using to use the view inheritance to uh, add these two fields inside the uh, partner form view so let me go so let me go to the uh, partner form view uh, and let me add uh, the field here somewhere in this view so for this purpose first of all you need to activate the debug mode by adding the question mark debug is equal to one just after the web and uh, then uh, after acti activating the debug mode you will have you will see this uh, debug icon which you need to click it and here you will see edit view form uh, so you need to click here to see the external id of the view so you just need to copy it in, so in order to see the code of the inherited view uh, we can go and uh, search inside the old default code uh, like here in default items and search for this uh, uh, id so this is uh, the view which has been inherited somewhere else so let me just copy it and uh, let me just paste it so first of all i need to create a raise.partner xml file a raise underscore partner dot xml file inside the views so just cancel it 
So here we need to add uh, like this code, the encoding, and then we need to add Udo code, then data uh, tag, and then we need to add the code. Uh, so just close uh, these two uh, tags. So select the code and then reformat the code like this. So here you can change the external ID if you want. Uh, let me just change it here, which is Open Academy. And the model will remain the same. Let me just remove the priority because it is not needed anymore. Uh, so if you if you want to know about the inheritance, uh, like the priority, you can just watch one of our previous videos. So here uh, you need to add the external ID of the view which you want to inherit. So we want to inherit this view. So we need to copy this view and paste it here like this. Okay. And then inside the arc element, arc uh, field we need to specify the field where we want to add uh, our custom field so for example i want to add just after the text id so first of all i need to find the technical name of the field which is weight so here inside uh, this i need to add the x path expr so here i need to add the full uh, path position so here how we can define the full path position so this is the field which is a uh, technical name is uh, VAT so uh, and you can also check it from here like edit view form so here uh, let me just show you the uh, show you the VAT so this is the VAT field which is a field so first of all you need to add the field inside the X path field and then records so here you need to add at the rate name is equal to VT and here you need to add the position we we want to add the position after so we want to add the field after this uh, VT field so here we can add our field name is equal to instructor which is defined inside the py file so let me just add it and then we need to uh, add this uh, file inside the uh, like the manifest so let me try edit inside the data like this and then let me restart on the service and upgrade the module so after the module upgrade you will be able to see uh, the change that we have added go to apps and here uh, we just need to click the upgrade button to upgrade the module upgrade it so once the module will upgrade you will see the change just uh, after reloading the page so here we need to reload this page to see the change up uh, reload the page and here you can see the page is uh, the field has been added so you can just check it and uncheck it because this is a boolean field so this is how you get inherited view and add the field and uh the next field we need to add is just uh, like inside this uh, pages so we need to add a new page for this purpose so for this purpose we need to first add uh, like see the code uh, so let me just try to give here so it is inside the notebook at that page so here we will uh, we will talk about the inside so we will have to uh, discuss like x path x path and expr so here we will have to discuss like notebook and position is equal to inside so we want to add inside the notebook so a uh, notebook block so this is the notebook and we want to add it at the end of the uh, all the pages so if you want to add inside uh, like at the end of all the uh, block so we need to use the inside and here we need to add a page first we need to add the page and then the string will be uh, attended session sessions like this and here we need to add field name is equal to uh, session ids like this so just uh, we have made the changes inside the XML. So we need to just update the module and uh, we will see the change. Okay. So after the module upgrade, uh, let me go here and 
I refresh the page so we need to reload this page to see the change so uh, here the so here you can see the attended session has been added just uh, at the end of this uh, all pages so this is how you can uh, modify the view using the view inheritance and if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you